at 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com, and our Indiana County Veterans Providers Group spot this morning. Uh, as as we get it rolling here, and Mr. Computer tries to catch up with me uh, at, at 8.44. Rochelle, I'm, I'm stalling. Can you tell? I can tell. I can you're, doing, you're doing great. You're doing great. Thanks. I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Rochelle Dillon is with us, a member of the Veterans Leadership Program and with the Indiana County Veterans Providers Group. She is a suicide prevention specialist, uh, which is really an apropos conversation uh, after having had our conversation in the last half hour and as we are all this month in, on uh, Mental Health Awareness mm-hmm. Month uh, with Dr. Ralph May. You're the natural follow-up this morning. That's awesome. I love hearing that, natural <laughs> follow-up. The natural follow-up is with us this morning, brought to you by <laughs> Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Unfortunately, there's plenty of business out there for you as a suicide prevention specialist uh, mm-hmm. because this is a problem that isn't going away anytime soon. No, unfortunately, it is not. Um, we see it happen. It goes across, um, you know, basically anyone can be affected by suicide. Mm-hmm. So it, it goes across um, races. It goes across ages. It goes across all of that of, you know, careers, all of it. So, yeah, we unfortunately see a lot. Yeah, and when we are talking about veterans and the special issues that they bring uh, to this whole conversation, uh, veterans have um, pressures on them that people who are not uh, in the armed forces maybe don't even understand. Correct. Uh, We see when they come out of the military and they've seen a lot of things, they've done a lot of things, um, it, it, it really triggers them. And they go through a lot of issues throughout their life um, if they don't get the help that they need. Mm -hmm. So we do see a lot of of our our males as well as females uh, in the armed forces. All of those uh, numbers are raised. Um, I I think if I remember correctly, um, it's like 72% for males. Uh, comparatively to 50% those that are not in the military um, for suicide. Mm -hmm. Statistically, I'm sure that as we've been in a war setting since basically 2001, Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm sure there are numbers that would uh, support the idea that somebody who's been in an active uh, war footing uh, background uh, in, in the last 20 years uh, are more likely to bring those sorts of issues uh, to the table than those who were able to serve when we were not in a wartime setting. Um, so mm-hmm. so basically what I'm saying is they've seen more. Yes. Uh, they've experienced more. Yes, they have. Uh, and, and what they have seen and experienced is something that not only do we not understand, they have difficulty processing. Exactly. It's once they get out, It's trying to find them the best help and them finding themselves the best help to get out there and realize that they're no longer in, they're, they're, they're no longer in the military. And, but yet all those feelings that they're having, all those things that they've seen, all the things that they've done are compounded at times. And they need to know that there is someone there that they can get the help that they need. Mm -hmm. Common more typical types of problems they're dealing with, uh, specifically when we're talking PTSD. Are, mm-hmm. are there commonalities? Yes. I mean, when a lot of them, they, they come up, PTSD is one of the big ones, um, along with a lot of depression. Then you, a lot of times, they um, self-medicate. Mm-hmm. So you're also looking at those that do self-medicate. So you're having drug and alcohol issues. And on top of that, sometimes people do have mental health issues that uh, were never um, identified. And those all compound. Mm -hmm. So, yes, unfortunately, that's what we're seeing. So let's talk about um, resources available, solutions that they might consider, um, the people that are there for them uh, when they are in the situation that they find themselves in, where they are actually considering suicide. Mm Mm-hmm. What we try to get everybody right now is the number. Our, our number uh, for suicide prevention is 988. Uh, we used to be that long number that people couldn't always remember, the 1-800 number. It is still in, in um, we, we still use it. 
the VA will continue to use that 1-800 number for mm-hmm. forever. But 988 um, is the number if anyone has any issues, if they're thinking about suicide. If you know someone that's thinking about suicide or even it, it, basically the 988 is mental health. It, it is our crisis number. Mm-hmm. So if anyone is having any issues, call that number. If you are a veteran, it's 988 plus one. And that will bring you to a specialist in the um, for for veterans. Yeah. That's a big one. And there's also those that want that don't want to talk with somebody. They're not ready yet. Mm-hmm. People aren't always ready to verbalize and hear those words come out of their mouth. So we do also have a text number. It is uh, 741741. They can text that number and they can talk with someone uh, in, uh, by, via text. And sometimes that feels like a safer space. So we do really hope that people go to see people, um, mental health professionals. Rochelle Dillon, our guest here this morning on Indiana in the Morning. You said something I think is pretty important a second ago, uh, and I don't, don't want to let that pass. Um, we think of needing help only when we get to the most extreme of our difficulties mm-hmm. when, when we're considering suicide. We can actually dial that number before we get to that point uh, when we recognize that uh, I've got a problem going on here and, and I need to get something done. Uh, do people do that enough? I don't know if they do it enough. I would like to think so in a perfect world, but the 988 number is when if you're thinking about it, if you're toying with the idea, if, if, if it's those thoughts are coming into your head. If you have a family member that is thinking of that, if you want to talk with somebody uh, together with someone else, you're, you're having those thoughts, and you can talk with someone else with you while they're on the phone. Um, other than that, when 911 is the best way, if someone is in the uh, throes of that suicide, mm-hmm. 988 wouldn't be enough. I would say that the 911 would need to be called because they would need immediate assistance. We're talking with Rochelle Dillon. Uh, Indiana County Veterans Providers Group is a, is a really big group of people from a number of different agencies. When you get together uh, and this particular topic comes up, um, I'm sure they go to you and they say, Rochelle, what do you think? Uh, but at the same time, there are other agencies that you can bring into this as, as we think about solutions to some of the mental health problems that we might have. Exactly. There are so many different people to talk to. Uh, and that's what's a beautiful thing about the, the Veterans uh, uh, p- Provider Group, which is having a meeting today. Um, so we'll all get together and we talk about what's going on in our areas and we talk about like how we can assist each other. That's the big thing is assisting each other. We may be just a piece of the puzzle. Someone else might be able to fit in another piece. And then somebody else can fit in another piece. So we all kind of fit together to help build this picture so that we can better assist our veterans. We can better assist the community as well. Yeah. I'm sure innovative solutions come up all the time. Uh, I think of the camp in uh, in Jefferson County uh, where veterans are able to go. Uh, Steve was here just a, a few weeks ago in oh. another setting. and We were talking uh, about that. Um, when we think of the ways that we treat uh, mental health problems uh, in not only as a whole, but here in, in our area, uh, that's a great one. That's, that's a wonderful, uh, different approach. Uh, do you get those conversations going very often where you think, okay, here's something new that we ought to think about and, and let's see what we can, we can come up with when we, when we think about innovative solutions uh, to a problem that has been long standing. Yeah, th- that's the that's the wonderful thing about the group. We can all bring other ideas together. Hey, we have a fishing group um, that they bring out a, for a bunch of veterans to fish, and that that can be such a release for them. Uh, the ones that um, have horseback riding, they do equestrian. Those are some other ways to help with mental health. There are other ways to help them deal with stress, to help them deal with um, depression. So, yes, uh, outside-the-box thinking is awesome. And, that, again, I, I just can't stress it enough, getting everybody together mm-hmm. and becoming each other's uh, cheerleaders. That's what we need. Yeah. Tell me about the Veterans Leadership Program. What is it? Veterans Leaders 
uh, SHIP program, we've been around for a long time, probably since the, uh, I believe it was since it was 82. Um, but we are in 28 counties in Western Pennsylvania. And we are in one county in New York, one county in Ohio. So we serve a big area. Mm-hmm. Our job is to assist veterans that are in need of housing. They're made in need of immediate uh, emergency housing. We also have bridge housing. So if it's a temporary stay, we have the full-time housing. So we try to find them places where they can reside and they can feel safe. We also have employment. So we talk with our in, employment specialists. If they're interested in employment, we talk with them and they get them involved in the career links, which is awesome with that, again, that working together with resumes, getting them together with other resources, uh, like with the, the DVOP and the lever here. And we get them all together and we, we try to find them that job that they may have been struggling to find. We also have um, a lot of different supportive services. We have our ops, which is our opioid um, uh, prevention program. We have, um, let's see, we have case management. We do our tax return clinic every year. We have food assistance, um, and especially in uh, Johnstown area and Pittsburgh, we have our food drives. Mm-hmm. We have them once a month. Uh, so that kind of, it doesn't give them enough food, I would say, for to, to last them a month, but it helps um, supplement what they're getting. So there's, we have a lot of programs. So what I always tell everybody is give us a call. If it's something we can help with, fantastic. If it isn't, we try to find you the resources so that you can find it um, elsewhere. We don't ever want to leave anyone. Is it uh, regionally located? I mean, do you have... Uh certain number of counties for one area, a certain number of counties for another region. Yes, we do. We have our Pittsburgh area, which has a lot of the Pittsburgh. They do green. They do Washington. They do, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. We just have so many, as I said, we have 28 counties. I work out of the Johnstown Altoona, so I deal with all of them, like the Blair, Cambria, Somerset, Fulton, Huntington, um, Clearfield, Indiana. Indiana. I, I, I would, that was saving the best for last. You, you jumped on it. Um, <laughs> and we have our Erie. So no matter where you are in Western PA, we can, um, we can assist you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Folks want to take advantage of that. What should they do? They can definitely call us. Um, uh, let me see. Or uh, my best bet would be say it is a one, it's one eight four four. VLP Vets, V E T S, or they can get online at Veterans Leadership Program.org. Rochelle Dillon, thank you so much for coming in, visiting with us. We appreciate that. Well, thank you for having me. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCS Radio. Dot com. We're about two and a half minutes away from the top of the hour. Fox News will come your way then, and then we will visit with you from our WCCS newsroom on this uh, this Wednesday morning. We've got sunshine out there. AccuWeather says cloudy.